Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and uh, I've done a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, changed the floor to iron blocks because I had way too much iron. Uh, let me just pop this out. Down here, I put in another one of these. I'm going to need more storage eventually, but that will do for now. Uh, I changed the removal of things system. I'll get into this in a second. Uh, so, I haven't really afforded myself a way to look in here. Yep. Okay, I'll just go through this wall. There's now... I did some research to see if there was a better way, because I didn't like the whole relay into an obsidian pipe thing. And I found out that you can actually export directly into a tesseract, and it'll work. So, it's a bit of a roundabout way to go about it, in a very strange way, but uh, that is how I am destroying things now. Although, it's not entirely a good thing, because it means that I end up not having what I need. But, uh, I want to do something this episode. Actually, I want to do a couple things, but first things first, we're going to need some ME import buses. This is the cable that does the polar opposite of the export cable. So, I'm going to make seven of them. So, yep. It's identical to the export recipe, except it uses a sticky piston instead of a regular one. So, yeah. Uh, now, what I'm going to do... Because I know that the import cable can take whole stacks of time. You bastard! Ugh. Oh. The only problem is this trap door is in a very inconvenient location. But uh, I had moved everything down, took off the top floor. Those are still in barrels because I didn't feel like putting them in here. But, uh, yep. Oh, well, this isn't going to do a whole lot. But, uh, the reason why this is here is I was thinking maybe I can replace that whole thing. Because I'm not sorting anything anymore. It's not destroying anything. Everything is now being done by the system. So, what if I try and cut that system out entirely? And I'm going to need ME cable. Wee! Um... Yes. I made more of it. A considerable amount more. But, uh... Let's see... How I'm going to go about this. That was just there so I could get that block where I wanted it to be. It's very intelligently connecting. And it's disturbing. Okay. Now, I'm going to send you down. And... I'm going to put one of you here. And one of you here. And I'm going to bring the bottom one out. Now all of those should be connected in. I just need to run that there. And I forgot a step. I'm going to change every single one of these. Why can I not click on you? There we go. Uh, whatever. You could stay there. I want every single one of these to be set to move stacks at a time. I think that's every single one of them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now those should just import everything. Although I won't really know. Let's take count of my iron. Twenty-three forty-four. 
Oh, actually, I have an easier way to look in my inventory. So, let's run the full cycle program. And we're going to have to wait for it to actually move. I was thinking about doing a design decision that revolved around putting that like in the middle of the room and stuff, but uh, that may come later. This stuff is considerably easier to move and handle and whatnot than normal storage systems because all my storage is on those disks. Nothing really needs configuring, just pick it up and move. And it's actually really, really handy. But, uh, let's see. Go over here. You. You're probably still moving backwards, aren't you? Well, forwards. Technically. Come on. Curious to see what happens whenever it gets large numbers of things in it. Yeah, you can see how it's got a lot of different types of items coming in and it's kind of being a little bit too much for it. Hmm. That's not good. Okay, here's what I can do. I can halt this. This will not completely stop the process. But it will pause it. So if I press start on the computer again, it will be able to continue what it's doing. I'm going to, I think, need another one of those import bus setups. Whew. That's time consuming. And I don't have enough basic processors for that. I got enough materials, I won't worry about that at this exact moment. I do kind of want to do a processing center now. And I, I might just do it down there. What am I doing? But. The thing is, is I would need more import buses and export buses, so I'm just going to start with one of each. Take some of that. I've got an export bus here, import bus, cable, interjection can go in there. I'll deal with him later. So, and I have morning voice again, by the way. Oh, and this, this here, this is amber brick, in case you cared. Now, that is that, which it is. Where do I wish to run this cable? Let's run it underneath. Um... I have not allowed for much room in this place. Okay, so, we're going to put powered furnace here, pulverizer here, orange is going to go out the bottom, orange is going to go out the bottom, top is going to be blue, Okay, so we want to import, hey, no, we want to import from the bottom, like so, we want to export into the top,
Uh. Okay. And I don't want to hook this in just yet. Or we will let these guys get the power. Bonk. Very good, very good. Oh. Up we go. Now, we need... One of each ore that we wish to s pulverize and then smelt. We don't even technically need one of each. We don't even technically need one, but we need at least one so that way we can actually put it in the machine. Uh, let's see. Do I want to... I think I'm just going to leave Ferris as an ore. Is there any other things... You can't, uh, pulverize that, I don't believe. And you can't actually use this screen to do that. I'm pretty sure you cannot pulverize it. Whoops, that's I, not you. And it's still typing over there. You bastard. Smelt. And induction smelt. So, no. Okay, so what we're going to do is one, two, three, four, five, six. But there's room for two more, but I don't have anything else I want to pulverize at this moment. Pulverize then smelt. So what I'm going to do is that. And so what that'll do is, over a long period of time, it will eventually smelt all the things. So there's that. And it's cool because we can go in here and you can see that it's removing copper. Which uh, I have this sorted by uh, priority slash sell order at the moment, but... You can organize it by name, both up and down. Organize it by number of items. Look at all that coal. I have over, I have 10,700 coal. Cold. Cold? Coal. That's a bit excessive, I think. But, uh, I got quite a bit of quartz and quartz crystal now. But, uh, I'm just going to leave it on priority slash sell order and sorting down. And this thing doesn't do anything for us because we don't have the multi-block auto-crafting machine for this mod. So, yeah. I believe there's basalt in this. Yeah, there is. But, uh... I kind of want... I was thinking that I could design this room to look kind of like a clean room, I guess. Just, like, make the whole thing out of iron blocks, since I have 3,153 iron and 2,365 ore. So, I have a lot of iron that I don't need. And I was thinking I could make this room, like, a little bit bigger. Just notice there's a slight inconsistency with the lights. Oh well. But I can make the room a little bit bigger... And then it could house storage, and I could put, like, the ender chest up in the middle. But unfortunately, I'm getting to need two of them. At least. Although that would give me a really cool idea for just a completely cosmetic design. So this may end up getting bigger. Although I'm not sure. Hmm... Although I've kind of exhausted the entirety of what I wanted to do. This is still sitting here and it doesn't need to be. 
Oh, and if you're wondering how exactly I moved the chests and why these are back to crystal, or not in crystal chests, it's because I was trying to find out why I'm having a hard time maintaining even 30 FPS, really. And so I was taking out anything that provided graphical stuff, except for I didn't do anything with these, but, uh, I don't know. I might try that, but, uh... I, I'm not entirely sure if that's the cause of it. I don't think it's those. Although, for all I know, it might be the wrath lamps. There's actually a really easy way to find out. If I had... some cobble. Oh, I do have some cobble on me. Okay, then. So what I can do... Or apparently you can't put levers directly on them. So that should turn it off. We'll be able to see it more visually with this one. No? Aren't you supposed to be able to turn a wrath lamp off? Hmm. Hmm. Whatever. And these damn Endermen. Uh. I turned off the uh, rubber farm because... Oh, well. That block is crushed. Because, well, first of all, it wasn't exporting into the chest like I wanted. Apparently it can't do that directly. But look, look how much sticky resin is in here. That's a bit unnecessary. I'm going to, however, take its fertilizer and move it over to here. Because this... I had originally taken three quarters of the fertilizer out of this farm. Oh, I just realized. The... thing down here probably has seeds and stuff in it now. Yeah, there's seeds in it. But, uh, I have a lot of bread in my personal stored inventory. Like, in that invisible food inventory that this helmet has. So, that's fun. Seeds? Yeah, seeds are in there. And now there's a lot of seeds in there. And those are now trashed. Um... Hmm... Yeah, I've done most of what I was after. Oh, and these amber bricks. I wanted them to go down here. Right about there. I like how they're partially see-through. Which, the amber bricks are just made from... Well, I'll press U on this amber block, which is just made from four amber, and then... Yeah, it's that simple. And then you can just turn amber bricks straight back into amber blocks. Or, into amber. So, it is, like, purely a decorative block. Which also makes it kind of pointless, but whatever. I'm going to need to get more ender pearls soon. Alright, I'll show you how I move these chests. Grab the bacon gun. Yep. And that's how I move the chests around. Although, in order to reorient them, because they're facing a different way, I actually used the router to move stuff into these chests from the crystal chests. And for these guys, well, I just put it in my inventory. And the barrels, I put it in my inventory, which made that one a bit of a pain, but whatever. That's a lot of rubber. But uh, I'm going to put this back in here. I kind of want to make a gravity gun, but it's a little bit 
the supercharged one is expensive, and the regular one is not really expensive. I want one, just because. Where is diamond? Um, obsidian? That's not obsidian. Um, what else was it? Oh, okay. Let's just use more of my ender pearls, why don't we? And four glowstone, which I went and got more of because I got really low. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, 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 one. Okay. I might want to make a glowstone block first. And what is the point of making a gravity gun whenever I already have multiple portal guns? There isn't a reason, but it looks cooler. Woo! But, uh... Well, I suppose there is one reason. Yes, that's right, I can throw blocks. And I don't know where this Enderman is that sounds very angry, but I don't see him. Oops, I... Oh, you can't use it on that. <laughs> oh. And that landed on a torch. Uh I don't know why I find this so amusing. Where did I even take this block from? Oh, right here. There. Uh the supercharged one actually lets you like when you throw like a mob it will actually cause an explosion, at least with a creeper. I'm not sure about everything else. I heard a spider. Where is spider? Look at the Swiss cheese they've done to my poor mountain. Damn Enderman. But there's a cave right here. Hmm. That's strange. If it was right here? No, that's just a piece of gobble in the ground. Hmm. Wait, how did I end up Oh wow. That's cheaty. I just ended up with a grass block because I dropped it on a torch. Who needs silk touch? I have a gravity gun. That is cheating. You apparently can't throw things without picking them up. But, whatever. I'm just going to put this guy in this. You can't right click the box with the gravity gun out. Just so you know. Going to put him in that box for now. Because I can. And... I honestly don't know now. How am I doing on the auto smelting? I don't remember how much was in there, so I don't know how much it's actually accomplished. 
760. 760. Shouldn't that have gone up by now? I'm feeling a bit concerned right about now. ME import bus pulling out of the bottom. Hello? Guy? Hello? Colorless, huh? I'm going to assume it can't pull the pulverized stuff out of the machine. I hope. Well then, all that that's sorted. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so eventually everything will get smelted. And that will reduce the number of item types would increase the number of bytes it has to store. So I'm probably going to want another storage unit soon. Um, hmm. You see what I mean by it's kind of like having a creative in inventory? Because I can just scroll through and find what I want, or I can search for it. I'm going to put grass blocks in here. And this guy technically doesn't need to be here anymore. Look at that. It's full on item type, so it's orange. Um. Hmm. I'm going to move this guy down to here. I need to put these back in. I'm going to grab me an ender chest. Throw it right there in the center. Oh, hey. Let me out. I'm going to need another block of iron. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Stop that. Click where I tell you to, damn you. Well, that looks a little bit better. And theoretically, it shouldn't get a heavy build-up now. See, so, you know, if I press start, when I open this up, you can see it went right back to what it was doing. The only difference is now it shouldn't get backlogged because I have all those sorting machines on the system. Well, four of them. I saw a diamond. I saw another diamond. Maybe 
Um, I think I, the one the episode yesterday was gratuitously long, so I think this one is good enough for now. So I think I'm gonna call it good here. I'm probably gonna end up adding another storage drive to that. Um, uh, and next time maybe we'll do some building or something because I don't really have any machine ideas just at this very second. And I kind of want to set up a new area so that way I can get like this whole kind of... I'm not entirely sure I was going at that statement. But uh, definitely need to replace the wood with something. I was thinking maybe making the walls out of stone brick. Although I'm not sure on that. The inside is probably going to be made out of iron blocks, because it's supposed to be sort of like a sterilized environment. But uh, I'm going to call this good for now, so I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.